Doc is In is sponsored by Amada Senior Care. Fox 56 News Chief Medical Contributor Dr. Ryan Stanton is in studio with us. Yeah, this morning he's focusing on the severe weather, very fitting for this morning, and uh, how we can all stay safe during times like these. Yeah, absolutely. Times like these are when health care and weather are going to cross paths. And so we want to focus on that today because I think that is definitely the largest story of today. So let's get right to it. So we're fortunate enough to live in an area of the country that doesn't have a ton of natural disaster threat, but occasionally they do happen. The weather for the rest of, the, of this isn't going to be ideal for today, and though much of our region isn't in the highest risk zone, especially south, there's definitely a potential threat throughout the day. Being prepared for tornado, tornadoes and severe weather is crucial for staying safe and minimizing damage. Here are some of the things that you can do to help ensure your readiness. First and foremost is going to be to stay informed, whether that through the app, whether uh, paying attention to the forecast throughout the day, a weather radio, whatever it may be, creating a plan, making sure you know what you're going to do. If severe weather comes, what are you going to do and where are you going to go in your home, in your school, in your building, wherever you may be. Limit potential debris, making sure that you tear down uh, things, umbrellas, things that could fly through the air and become targets for you as well. Make sure that you understand and are aware of potential signs of impending weather that may come through. And finally, staying calm. There's no real good benefit to panicking, so stay calm, take shelter. When a tornado warning is issued, seek shelter immediately in a basement or an interior room on the lowest level of your home, away from windows and doors. With weather threatening like this, what we want to stay in the region, it's important to stay aware, be ready, protect the ones you love by following these guidelines. Hopefully you will be a little bit safer today, and hopefully we won't have to use it. But at the same time, being prepared is the best way to stay safe. It's interesting, you know, we hear it all the time when things like this are happening. But when I hear it, it's like, oh, that's fresh information. I mean, it's easy to forget these things unless you're reminded of them. And especially around here where we get kind of lulled, lulled into complacency that we do have all four seasons, but none of them are too grumpy at any given time. <laughs> But then on occasion like today, it may have a risk, especially north, but it could be any of us. We watched Justin's forecast and really almost everybody within the sounds of our voices had that potential threat today. So being aware, especially in those areas where you may not be accustomed to uh, high winds, tornadoes, lightning, things like that. All right. Well, thank you, Doc. We'll continue this conversation towards the end of the hour. Thanks, Doc. We'll be right back. You're watching Fox 56 News, our home, your news.